It has been a very... Oh, I'm ashy. I forgot. I just washed my hands. Well, ashy it is. All right. I think I'm ready. This... Hopefully this don't take a long time because I'm as tired. I keep putting this uh, lip oil on. It's so good though. Right? They look good. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> All right. Hello. That was a good clap. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I forgot she bought me them. Y'all see how my ADHD be flaring up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinnie McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is another iteration, another episode, another installation in my 25 Days of Content series for every day from the 1st of September until the 25th, which is my birthday. Libra gang in the building. <laughs> um, I do drop a brand new video every day. Um, y'all been sticking it in. Y'all been holding. Y'all been sticking it out with me. I ain't sticking it your girl yet. So I appreciate that. Today is going to be an update on all of the Arabian perfumes that I have in my collection. My current thoughts on them and just where I'm where I'm at. Arabian perfumes are notorious for needing to sit, uh, to be sprayed out for a little couple of sprays and sit to really get your final thoughts and opinions. So all of, most of these I've had. For several months, if not longer, there's two that I just recently opened, maybe like a month or so ago, but still enough time to give some more thoughts. So, thank you to my subscribers for holding it down, for being being with me on this journey, being supportive. Um, I truly appreciate you. This is this task is more than a notion, but um, I'm being consistent and y'all are being consistent holding it down, tuning in. So I appreciate that. I love y'all. Y'all the greatest in the whole entire world. My discount code for your body oils is on the screen. By the time this video is up, that haul should be up as well. Uh, my freaking body oils haul that I purchased from this month. Um, and I have plenty of recommendations videos on my channel. People drop down in the comments all the time um, to say I tried this from them. I liked it. It's verified, bona fide, certified. I try not to get on the line unless it's verified, unless it's good, unless it's, you know, I try to bring y'all legit good stuff. And that is one of them. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. The first, I'm not going to spray because I've already sprayed it on myself today and I still can't smell nothing else after this. This is horror. I don't know. I don't, I know I'm not saying this right. Horror Main Amber Oud Gold Edition. And it might not look like I've used it, but I have. And the fact that I'm telling you, you don't need a lot of this is saying something. Because for me personally, I'm an over sprayer. I spray, spray, spray my skin, my clothes, the air, my ears, everything. I spray, okay? There's no such thing as too much, except for when it is. And this is one you got to tread lightly. Be very, very careful with this one. It's just, um, it, it'll take over. It will absolutely take over. Um, you, it might give you a headache if you're not careful. Um, it's that type of, and it's not, I don't think this is suitable for all seasons. You can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. However, I think you would kill somebody if you wore this in the spring or the summer. You guys to be careful. I, it's, it's that type of strong. It's that type of strong. Once you smell this, you can't smell nothing else. It lasts on the clothes on eternity. It lasts on your skin. Um, so having that said, if you, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck if you buy this and you don't like it, because it's nothing you can do. In my experience so far, the few times that I've, I've actually worn this, like three or four times. Um, if you don't like this, there's nothing you can put with it to change it. There's nothing you can do to alter it, to make it, it's, it's, in my opinion, based on things that I, based on how it smells to me, you're SOL. There's nothing you can do to change it or to make it more whatever. Having that said, um, uh, my initial, uh, opinion on this has remained the same. It smells like Instant Crush, but like a, with something more sweet or fruity on the top 
it's that's what it smells like to me um what are the notes you know fragrantica is not always current with the arabian girls they not always up to date the notes for this are the top has bergamot and green notes the middle sweet no i don't know if i trust this uh Sweet notes, melon, pineapple, amber. The base has musk and vanilla and woody notes. I don't know if I trust this description from Fragrantica. Okay, well, this website, shopoutharamaneperfumes.com, has the same thing. Bergamot green, middle note, melon, pineapple, gourmand, and amber. The base, woody, vanilla, and musk. So, um, that must be right. I sprayed it on myself earlier and it's still there. Um... Oh, do I like this? <laughs> um, I like what it does in the sense lasts all day, performs well, you know. I like that it does what I expect perfumes to do. Would I repurchase this once this bottle is gone though? That's a good question. Um, probably. Uh, yes, but I wouldn't be in a rush to do it. Um... I also feel like this bottle is going to last me an eternity because I really don't spray a lot. Like, you can't. You're going you're gonna to kill somebody. Like, so, I pr would probably find myself missing the scent at some point. So, I would probably repurchase. But if it didn't perform as well as it does, I wouldn't be repurchasing. I don't, I'm not, like, in love with the smell. Like, oh, I'm craving this. I love this. Yeah, honestly, I would repurchase, but only because it has such great performance. That's really the reason why. If the performance was mediocre, I wouldn't be repurchasing. Tell the truth, shame the devil. I wouldn't. <laughs> so, um, yes, it's a repurchase, but not because the smell is great, but because the performance is great. This, sticking with the same brand, I need to clean this bottle off. This is All Haramain Le, Le Adventure Femme. I don't know. Some of these names are beyond me. Um... I, this was, I think, honestly, my first, um, Arabian perfume purchase. Uh, oh, I lied. I did a video reviewing Jungle Fantasy for, from Britney Spears. And I said that I had only purchased that one and the Shagaf Oud from Amazon. But I forgot I purchased this one. That's because this was like, this has probably been two years ago that I purchased it. Um, but I am still very leery about purchasing perfumes from Amazon. This was the I think this one was the first one I purchased on Amazon. Um, the way people describe this, I was supposed to buy a charger today. I am everywhere. The way people describe this, I, it didn't meet my expectations. Um, they First of all, they said this is supposed to be a dupe for, um, I think, Creed Adventures for her. Which, I can't say if it's a dupe for that or not because I never smelled it. But I was just expecting... I was expecting to be overwhelmed and blown away and this didn't do that. It's okay. It smells like a perfume. I know that doesn't make sense because it is perfume but it smells like a perfume. Um, people talk about like pineapple and I'm like oh this is going to be a really good like juicy fruity. No. No. I mean it almost smells like a really really nice wall air freshener plug-in like if it smells like maybe if you walked into like a really bougie department store and just like the way that room a department store would smell like if you walked into like bloomingdale's or i don't know dillard's or what's the one that we got here they got real nice bathrooms too what's the what's the name of that it's not dillard's it's not bloomingdale's um and they always look at me funny in there because they know I don't belong in there. And I don't. It's going to drive me crazy if I can't think of this name. Bon Mar. Ooh, that name was escaping me. Um, It smells like if you walked into like a Bon Mar, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, like a, you know, a more bougie uppity department store. And they're like overall smell in there. Because it smells a little mature. And not in a good way. Um, I've had this bottle, like I said, for almost two years. You can't even. I don't, I can't. I have not. I rarely, rarely wear this. I don't even know about the compliments and stuff because I just I don't reach for. It. I don't really like it. Um, 
will definitely not repurchase. I bought this before I started filming content. Um, but yeah, I just... It was a blind buy, which most of these Arabian perfumes you do have to blind buy. Um, but I just don't care for it. Um, I don't even know if I could layer this with anything to make it better. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It just... It smells mature. Like, very mature. So, the notes for this, pineapple is the first note. Black currant, bergamot, wild berries. The middle is cedar, freesia, and rose. The base is musk, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. A lot, I was looking at the comments. A lot of people are having an, a similar experience where they're just like, it's, it's good, but they don't like it. <laughs> like, they're like, it gets compliments. Uh, you, people can smell it on you, but they just, it's, it's not an easy reach perfume, and it's not. Um... It's definitely not blind by safe to me, in my opinion. Um, it's it's something. I would not recommend this to anyone based on my personal preference. Um, it's just, yeah, it's 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 an acquired taste, and I don't acquire it. So that's that. So let's talk about this one here. This is Camera Latafa, okay? And I bought this because everybody was saying, oh, it's this like baked apple. If I drop one more thing, baked apple pie, smell out of whatever. When I first smelled this, I was like, mm. it's not giving what they had said it was had given. Baby, you got to let this sit. Woo! Baby, this thing is good. That apple pie smell comes through once you let this sit. When I first smelled this, I was like, this is just really strong and like incensey. I'm baby. Spray her out a couple of times. Let her sit for a couple of months. Forget about her. Come back to her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I understand why they say. I also understand why they compare this to Angel Share. Um, now, I've never. I haven't had the original Angel Share yet. I do have a perfume oil from Fragrant Body Oils that gets me non-stop compliments. I've never worn Angel Share from Fragrant Body Oils and didn't get a compliment. Never. Um, so having smelled that, I can see why they put this in a similar category as Angel Share. Again, I can't confirm, but I understand the overall vibe of what Angel Share is supposed to give. And the, even this, it just looks like a, a little cognac, you know, drink or something. Um, but I understand why it gets put in that rotation. 10 out of 10, highly recommend, will purchase again. My only caveat for this one is, let it sit. When you first get it, if it doesn't smell like it, uh, like if you don't get that spiced baked apple pie thing, let it sit. Don't give up. I mean, you, you can still smell that there are other things in here, but I get why people are saying that, is what I'm saying. The notes for this are cinnamon, nutmeg, bergamot in the top. The middle is dates, praline, tuberose, mahonio. The base is vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, myrrh, amberwood, and I say this word wrong every time. I think it's akigala wood or akigala wood. I don't know. Something. Um, yeah, baby, this is good. And my layering combo, I think I wore this with, so I did, even though I should make y'all go, I'm not going to make, I'm not saying make y'all. But even though it is in my layering combo, the last thing is the last one I did. What I did was I did black cherry mullet. Black Cherry Merlot Body Care. And I mixed it with the Lost Cherry Perfume Oil. Them two together. Out cold. Did that all over my body. Then I did this and mixed it with the um, Miss Girl Perfume from Paul Reacts. Which is a Baccarat Rouge Strike 40 and Lost Cherry Hybrid. Woo, 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 woo. Dangerous. And I got mixing uh, this with the Miss Girl perfume. I got that idea from Just Plain Jane. And then I add a little razzle dazzle with the black cherry Merlot and the lost cherry on the base. Um, lasted me all day and I was moving around and stuff and I was getting whiffs of my stuff like crazy. I will, because like I said, and based on the notes, there are like spices and things in here. So if you know that you don't like more, if you don't like unisex scents, if you don't like um, type of mysterious woody and in, not incense but spices um, if you know you don't lean towards scents like that don't do that because that's still in here I'm just saying there is also that sweet um, there's a sweetness that comes through in here that's very very good you just gotta let it sit okay this is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian 
there we go is that upside down anyway this is one that I did it was okay it was okay when I first smelled it but once I let it sit and come back to it I was like ooh I don't know if vanilla's in the nose but there's some vanilla in here that comes through that is so good once you let it sit so good ooh oh my gosh this is so good so good i'm so glad i uh so good i took the risk and bought this um one of my layering combos for this was ca this casablanca swiss arabian with gentle fluidity gold Woo! baby i'm gonna spend the block on that in the fall i wore that and when it was warmer but i feel like once i go back around on that and try it in the fall wow and there's supposed to be an intense version out right now um, I may try to get my hands on it. I don't know. Sometimes when they do intense, they mess it up. So I'm not like itching to get it. I kind of want to see what everybody else say first. Then I'll go and see if I like it. Okay. So the top notes are apple and grapes. The middle is white woods, iris, and patchouli. The base is caramel, amber, suede, musk, and peru balsam. This is good. I don't know what else to say. But it's good. Um, let it sit. We have, <laughs> I always say when I first smelled it, it's, I said it smelled like spicy welches to me. And it, it did, but as it sit and everything came together, it's just, maybe it's the amber I'm smelling because there's this like warmth underneath it that's so, so good. So the fruit at the top, it's not like a sweet fruit. It's like a, I mean, it's sweet because fruit is sweet, but it's like a, like aged fruit. Maybe that's a better way. Like if you um, took some fruit, cut it and aged it. And then put some vanilla and some sweet, like closer to that is what I would say. It's good. I love this. Casablanca ain't do me wrong. And um, I think this is safe to try, even if you're not a fan of apple, because to me, it's not like drowning in the smell of apple. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is the apple fragrance. It doesn't give that to me. Now, I'm, not, I'm a person who doesn't mind apple, so maybe I'm biased because of that. But to my nose, I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's just like, this is very apple heavy not to me fruit yes um but like a mature fruit with some vanilla amber underneath undertone that's what casablanca is so good okay this is nebras by latafa this is basically um everyone says it's like a more fruity version of eilish by billy eilish um and i'm inclined to agree yeah you can definitely see how people say it smells like Billie Eilish just like a sweeter version and I'm I'm inclined to agree that it lasts longer and has better performance than Billie, Billie Eilish having that said I have both in my collection I will keep both they're similar but not the same and I could be in the mood for one and not be in the mood for another could you like one and not the other if you were a stickler for fragrance um, and you really could like pick out notes I would say yes, but I it would to me in my mind it would seem very difficult for you to like one and not like the other. I mean, it that base it, this almost sounds like a flanker of Billie Eilish. You know what I'm saying? Like a like she did a 2.0, which she has done, but it, she went in a completely different direction. But I kind of like it. But that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> um, it smells like she decided to do another version and made it a more sweeter. I mean, honestly. So, I mean, it is possible to like one and not the other, but I think it's safe. If you like Billie Eilish, I think this is a safe blind buy. If you like Nebras, I think Billie Eilish is a safe blind buy. To me, personally, in my opinion. My opinion really hasn't changed on this um, since, it's, since I first sprayed it. I think it's came together a little bit more since I first sprayed it, but my opinion on it. It's still the same. It was good when I first sprayed it. It's good now. I think the juices have just kind of got a chance to marinate and marry each other more now that it's been sitting. So this is one that hasn't been sitting long. Only probably about a month or so. But um, we'll still give thoughts. This is coffee from Eternal. Um, just a bottle. I'm telling you. I'm not seeing the girl, the Arabian girls when it comes to their packaging. We just not. We just not. That was a good spray whoa this has changed a lot though oh my god it's much stronger than when i first smelled it oh it's like 
wow, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have such a, like, this is much more, much stronger than when I first sprayed it. And it's that, I don't know if there's chocolate in here, but it, if it is, it's more amped up. Like, this is smelling closer to like a Tootsie Roll. Wow. That has changed a lot since I first smelled it. When I first smelled it, I think I said it smells kind of like if you get like a, a macchiato or you know a, a sugary drink from Starbucks or from your coffee place and then kind of at the bottom there's like kind of the I hate to say soot but you know what I'm saying like the residue from all the different flavorings and stuff you put in there that kind of gathers at the bottom I said it smelled like that that a little bit of coffee and a lot of like the the mochas caramels whatever it's um it's much more potent now why the coffee is in there but it's still not um i'm still not like inundated with coffee like i am with black opium okay uh the notes coffee milk coffee milky caramel lactonic coconut heliotrope is in the middle the base is musk sugar tonka bean and creamy that's what aroma concept says and that's where i got this from so yeah like this perfume isn't even on fragrance cup that's what i'd be saying they be behind they don't be up on what's happening but um I'm scared of this but I'm also excited like I'm excited to see what this is going to smell like when I wear this with black opium lay perfume I might get a proposal I don't know I'm scared to see what's going to happen when I wear this with um Delvin Santal from Kayali somebody want, might want to buy me a house I don't know I'm, I'm scared <laughs> of what might happen when I wear this having that said I probably would never wear this by itself because that's just not my personal preference um I don't think there's a world that exists in where I would wear this by itself however this combined with some other things I don't know that this is scary I mean, it smells, it's, to me, it smells like a Tootsie Roll now. I'm going to take a little coffee from Eternal. Only one spray because that seems potent. I can smell it from here. That's strong. Woo! That is strong with a K. And we're going to take a little Nevers from Latafa. I might be on to something. You know, you never know how the Lord going to bless you. We own to something. We own to something. This is scary. <laughs> Cause those are like, whoa. I'm gonna have to play around with that coffee. I'm gonna have to play, I'm gonna have to get in my layering lab and see what my brain comes up with. Cause that okay. So this is another one that blew my mind with how much it changed and how much my opinion changed on this. This is soft from Al Rahab. I lost the cap a long time ago because I never been planning on wearing it. Um, when I first smelled this, I was like, okay, you know, it's okay. Then I tried to wear it a couple days after, and I was like, it smells mechanical. It smells, I just, I didn't like it. So I had just wrote it off that I wasn't going to like it. Then, like, I don't know, probably a year later, six, seven months later, I don't know, I decided to spray it on one day, and I was like, what is this? This is not what I remember smelling. Baby, I don't know why they called this soft. It ain't nothing soft about this. This is loud. Loud, loud, loud. What video was I making? I think I talked about this in my back to school affordable perfumes edition part two. Because I mentioned I would bring soft and I eventually said I would bring Casablanca. Then I think I put Soft and Casablanca together. Woo! Be careful is all I'm going to say. I'm also going to say I'm not responsible for nothing that happens when you put that combo together. I might wear that tomorrow because that thing was good. Okay? <laughs> but anyway, wow, these two are like, they're, as they're drying down, wow. Wow. Anyway, Soft. Y'all see that's how that came out? Woo! That's good. I'm sorry for ever talking bad about this. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. 
it's good it's it it came together so well after you let this sit wow i'm sorry i ever doubted you i'm so sorry is that my all rahab did i lie no that's all rahab um and i'm pretty sure i paid like 5.99 for that they got it on Amazon for $8.89. You know, I don't trust Amazon when it comes to fragrances. However, if you're if you prefer to do Amazon, um, I'll try to link down below where I got these from. It's it's a combination of like three or four places that I eventually got all of them from. Um, but I will try to put the websites for every place that I've at least bought these perfumes from. Okay, the notes for this are citrus, caramel, vanilla, white musk, orchid, jasmine, woody notes, and vetiver. So it's a, lin a linear fragrance because it doesn't have like top, middle, and um, base notes. <sighs> but baby, all I'm gonna say is try it. It's you can you can for sure find this fragrance for less than twenty dollars. I think even as a blind buy, I think it's worth it. I say get it, let it sit. Spray one or two, three, four, five sprays. Then sit it about it and forget about it. Sit about it and forget about it. Yup. <laughs> sit it and forget about it. I'm so glad I held on to this. I was going to be quick to let this go. Yeah, and um, it's just, it's worth it. $20 or less. A lot of people say it reminds them of pink sugar. I smelled pink sugar and didn't like it. Um. So I don't, I don't, I can't say if it's, similar to pink sugar because I don't like pink sugar maybe that's what I was smelling when I first smelled it um, and that's why I didn't like it but this sits and develops over time to something much better than pink sugar in my opinion another inexpensive one this is Choco Musk also from Al Rahab um, this one hasn't changed to me this one I liked it when I first sprayed it I still like it um, especially for me to, not to be a gourmand girly like that yeah it's, it's solid to me tell the truth I'm the devil I prefer oh I have perfume oils I'm not getting them I prefer the perfume oil over the perfume uh, listen I prefer the perfume oil of Choco Musk over the perfume However, the perfume is solid. It smells like what it says it's supposed to be. It lives up to the expectation. It's inexpensive. Even if you don't like it, you only out of five or six bucks. I think for that reason, it's worth it. Again, this is another one that I don't see where my, I don't see myself wearing it by itself. However, I see it. I see it being great for layering. You could wear it by itself if you wanted to. It smells like there's almost a little vanilla in here. And don't be afraid of the name Musk. It's not. It's not that type of thing. Um, I can't find the notes on here, but I'll find them and put them on the screen. But, I mean, I think it's the most accurate description of, like, chocolate, vanilla, and it says white musk. Maybe that's what brings it together. I don't know. It's good. I don't think you would regret it. There is some vanilla in here that comes through it, and it's like a sultry, warm vanilla. It's, it's actually really good, especially for the price point. It's actually really good. Like I said, I could wear it by itself if I wanted to, but I just, I'm just not that type of girl. I'm not a gourmand girl like that, so I probably wouldn't, but you for sure could. Every time I layer soft with something, soft just takes over. I don't know what they call that soft. I try soft and chocolate musk and see if I'm onto something. Try it. A few more and we're done. This is Yara. This is Yara from Latafa. Um, this went crazy on the internet. Oh, I got one more in there. That should tell you how I feel about it. It's still in the box. It ain't even on the shelf. <laughs> um, this is good. It's okay. It smells... Uh, I don't think I had a bad experience with it not smelling good when I first smelled it. Okay. I get how people say Brazilian Crush vibes. I get why they say that. It still doesn't smell exactly the like, but I can see that DNA why they say that. It's It's just good. It's, it's fine. It's good. Like, is this the best smelling thing I've ever smelled? No, but it's solid and it layers good with so many things. It lasts longer on my clothes and my skin, but it's solid. I think I paid $20 for this. Like, now once they start pushing 40 and 50, it's not worth it to me. It ain't that good. It ain't that good. It's good. 
Um, do I get compliments on this? I don't know. I've never worn it by itself either. I'm always layering it with something else. So I think I have, but I don't know if they're complimenting this or the layering combo or something else that I wore. I don't know. It's solid. I wouldn't pay more than like $30 for it. It ain't that good to be paying $50, $60 plus because they had went viral and it ain't giving all that. I do like it. I think it's good. I think, um, I think it's worth it. Uh, once we start reaching, like I said, $40, $50, I'm all set. But it's, and I will repurchase it once it's done. Now, I might wait till the hype dies down and repurchase it for $30 or less. But I will for sure repurchase. The notes are Heliotrope, Heliotrope Orchid, and tan, Tangerine. The middle is Gourmand Decor, Tropical Fruits. The base is Vanilla Musk and Sandalwood. Um, it's fine. It's good. I like it. This is Confidential Gold from Latafa. This bottle I paid $14.99. Don't be fooled just because I only paid $14.99. Baby, this thing, this is another one. You can't, if you wear this with anything else, it takes over. It's beast mode to me, in my experience. This is similar to me as the first one I talked about, the Haramein Amber Oud. In the sense of like, it's sweet at the top, but then there's like a... Uh, incense musk type of vibe underneath kind of like instant crush this one is just much 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 sweeter and it's more of that it's more balanced to me in this one than it is in that one that one smells like 20% fruit 80% instant crush this one smells like more 50 50 maybe even 60 40 of like sweet fruitiness at the top and then kind of like an instant crush vibe underneath this one is it's not as overwhelming though as Harmay Amber Oud. Like, I wore this one time with Fame. Um, Fame eventually lost, but it's still, I could still smell Fame at the top for a couple of hours. I could smell Fame with it. Um, this eventually still took over, and this was on my clothes even the next day and the day after that. Um, so, it's still the more prominent one. It's still B Smoke, but you can wear something with this and you could still smell the other thing, not the other one. This one, yes. Um, Again, I paid $14.99. I'm not upset. If you, you got to take a gamble. I don't think this really one has really changed since I first smelled it. Um, just blend it better, but from what I remember, it's still the same. I think it's got a little bit sweeter, though. Or maybe the sweet sweetness has got a chance to come through a little bit more. I don't need to spray this because I know what's up. This is for Carla Taffa. This is one of the longest lasting best projecting perfumes in my collection. Anytime I need compliments, I'm going for this. This smells like Givenchy Linter D. Uh, if you like my way, you would like this. This bottle I think was like $18.99. Really inexpensive. Um, I've never worn this and not got a compliment. Never, never, never. I was in the dead of Chicago winter and was still receiving compliments on this. Um, it's beast mode. It's but it's great. I will 1000% repurchase. No questions asked. This is Latafa Ensemble Gold. This is supposed to be the dupe. I hear between Oriana and Love Don't Be Shy. I think it's closer to Oriana because I got a chance to smell Oriana. I was somewhere and I got a chance to smell it. And me remembering what this one smelled like. Not to be, and I'm not a perfume snob. Y'all see, I talk about oils, inexpensive, not expensive. So it's not coming from that point. It's just if I was to be a stickler, if I was a perfume snob, I can tell that the other one is blended a little bit better. Everything just kind of comes together a little bit better in Oriana than in this. Oh, not better. It's just, it's like this, just blended better. But having that said, they say the performance of Oriana is not great. And Oriana is a $300 bottle of perfume. I'm not paying $300 for mediocre. So if what they say is true, that the performance is 10 times better in this than in Oriana, then I'm just going to stick with this. Yeah, it's good. It does smell like Oriana. Oriana just smells, seems to be mixed together a little bit better than this one. But for me, that's not something that's... Uh, that's not something I'm concerned about. That's not something that's a determining factor. That's not going to make me say, you need Oriana over this. Not to me, not for my nose, not for my palate. I don't live a type of life where that type of thing matters. Um, 
but in all truthfulness you can definitely tell that the blending the mixing of that one has been designed by a more expensive house but performance to me is more important than how a fragrance is created to me i would rather pay less and have a better performing perfume than pay more than have a better blended perfume perfume but the performance isn't as good so uh, this one I didn't I didn't understand it at first as I've worn it and layered it I kind of get it more and I'm glad that I have it would I repurchase I don't know yet I feel like I still need to wear it some more to truly to feel like if this is something that needs to be in my collection because and it's not because of this I don't know if I need that love don't be shy Oriana DNA in my collection I don't go up for it as much as other people do it serves a purpose and as I layer it and stuff, I, I, I'm understanding it more. But I need some more time with it to fully understand it. And to figure out if this is something, if that type of DNA is necessary in my collection from any brand. From Killian, from uh, Parfums de Marley, from Latafa. I need to figure out if that type of DNA is necessary in my collection. Uh, this is the last one that I've actually worn. This is Club de Nuit Imperial. We already know what's up. Beast mode, projection, longevity, last all day. You will never wear this and not get compliments. 1,100 million percent. I will always repurchase this. This is supposed to do, be the dupe to Delina exclusive. I don't have exclusive, but I have the original Delina. Uh, and it's close enough for me. Close enough for me. Uh, based on what I'm smelling here, I don't feel the need to go out and get exclus exclusive. Um... Especially because I have Delina and I don't have this. Like, I, I don't... I'm not feeling the need to go out and purchase exclusive. When I bought this bottle, I think it was $40 or $50. I think it's gone up significantly now. But, I mean, I think it's still worth the purchase. Especially because the fragrance is duping is $300. $300 plus. Dollars. I, I would 100% recommend this to anybody. Like, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. There's one more in my room that I forgot about that I'm going to go get. Um, and we're gonna be we're gonna sell it together and see if it's changed and if my mind has changed. Okay, this is Yara Why? Why? I don't know. As you can see, it is still in the box. I forgot about this because it was sitting on my nightstand. Another box is sitting on top, and then something else is sitting on top of it. So this was a placeholder. Okay, this was a decoration. This was a prop. <laughs> I have literally not touched this perfume since that video. This is what it looks like. It looks like a white bottle. It's a white bottle of the pink one. The nose, my phone, I had to put my phone in the charger because it was dying. It's like peach, caramel, amber in the middle, and then like patchouli or something in the base. <sighs> I couldn't get with it. It was, it was, <laughs> it, listen. I couldn't get with it but now that it's set for several months hopefully it's changed hopefully my mind will be changed and I will like this we are gonna find out together okay it's blended better than it was before because before it smelled like four different food groups that came together and it was just confusing and a lot it does feel more like one fragrance and I'm not I'm not as repulsed as I was before. I still don't know what to do with it though. I still don't know where to place it. I still don't know how to wear this. This is just confusing to me. And I don't think mint is in one of the notes, but I'm almost feeling like something minty or something. I, see, when there's a part of it that I do, do like, but then I smell like grass or something. Like, yeah baby, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. This one, it's probably going back in the box. <laughs> Um, I don't I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to place it. Uh as far as in my my perfume Rolodex, it just Oh, it's strong. I don't know. I don't think this is blind by safe. I mean, but a lot of the most of these Arabian perfumes you gotta blind buy them. Like there's no sample of most of these. Um yeah. I'm gonna let her sit for a couple more months. <laughs> but that is all of the Arabian perfumes in my collection drop down in the comments let me know what perfumes 
should be next on my Arabian perfume for my Arabian perfume collection. Um, next is in you tried it, you like it, you love it. Or next is in you've been hearing about it and you kind of want to get some a second opinion before you decide to make a purchase. Um, and if it sounds like something that I would be interested in too, then I might buy it. Uh, but also let me know Arabian perfumes in your collection. Like I said, that you already know that you love. Um, that you get compliments on any of these that you like any of these that you had a similar experience or a different experience where you loved it at first uh, or you hated it at first then you came around to it or you know just drop down in the comments let me know what has been your experience when it comes to Arabian perfumes because it is certainly a different experience than just buying uh, you know perfumes you can get from Macy's I mean from the packaging to the smell, to the way that it changes, to the types of smell, how strong they are. Uh, buying Arabian perfumes is an experience. <laughs> and um, mom forgot my friend went to Dubai and she brought me back two perfume oils. I forgot. Maybe I'll do a separate video because I got like three or four perfume oils that I ended up buying a while ago. So maybe I'll just do a separate video on Arabian perfume oils. Um because well, I got some too from the local Arabian perfume on place. Yeah, maybe I'll do a separate one. Yeah, buying Arabian perfumes is an experience. Okay? And because you can't just walk into Macy's or a department store and buy them. You have to blind buy them. Unless you're fortunate enough to be next to a um a place that sells them. Like, you know, the uh, Arab... You know what I'm saying. The stores that sell the oils and stuff. And I... The Arabian perfume place perfume oil place that I went to I didn't see anything that was viral they had their own stuff like I didn't see any of like the viral perfumes and stuff to be able to smell I don't know I'm tired y'all <laughs> I done went shopping vlogged and recorded like two other videos before this I'm hungry <laughs> my energy has left the building um but I'm being consistent and trying to get this content out every single day um so that means bulking up on the content recording three or four videos at a time so that you can get ahead and I don't fall behind because I have a lot of other things going on um so when I have the time when the camera and the lights and everything is already set up I have to capitalize on that um so I know this video was long already because when I was looking at the time on the camera it was lengthy so, I'm going to get off the line, clean up a little bit, get me something to eat, and edit some more videos. So, I love y'all so much for rocking with me, holding it down, showing support, showing love, engaging with the content, watching the ads. I mean, y'all truly are top tier. Like, there's nobody better than, than the community that we're building here. And I'm eternally grateful for that. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Check out my discount code. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.